The world of languages is mysterious and fascinating, filled with incredible facts and many unanswered questions. In this video, we'll dive into 10 language-related facts that are fascinating to know. The Basque language is spoken by 700,000 people in the Basque country, located in the northern part of Spain. This language is so unique that experts are not sure where does it come from. For example, it has its own numbering system that compares to nothing else out there. Some researchers believe that the Basque language was part of a bigger language group that existed before the languages that we are accustomed to today. Anthropological findings also support the hypothesis that the Basque language is much older than the languages currently spoken here in Europe. If one counts as liberally as possible, one might say that English has around 750,000 words in its vocabulary. And additional words are added all the time. As a consequence, the English language has the largest vocabulary of any language that we know of. Well, that's not the case in all languages. I've heard that the Polish language indeed has a synonym for the word synonym or cinnamon, but in English, that's not the case. And you thought that the Polish language is difficult, didn't you? Well, think about the English word rhythms and appreciate that it's a word that doesn't have any vowels in it. And I know it's controversial to say that why Y, the Greek I, is not a vowel, but indeed, if you research it, you will see that a Y is actually a consonant and vowel at the same time. As you know, the United States comprises so many different languages and cultures. And one might think that one of the most powerful countries in the world indeed has an official language, but that's not the case. Most people will say that the de facto official language is English. Well, it depends, of course, where you ask the question as well. As around 78% of the US households use English as their primary language. But indeed, federally, there is no official language. When one thinks about printing or printing a book, the first thing that comes to mind is the German inventor Johannes Gutenberg, who four years after inventing the incredible machine that has given birth to so many <laughs> books throughout history, uh, printed the Gutenberg Bible and thus kicked off the age of printing books. And so logically, one might think that, yeah, the first printed book was indeed printed in German, but it might not be the case. The oldest printed book, quite possibly, is a Buddhist book called the Diamond Sutra, originating in China in 868 AD. But indeed, it was created with a method called block printing, where blocks of hand-carved wood are used to form the letters. It's an ever-changing number, but around 7,000 languages are spoken around the globe today. And around 40% of these languages are thought to be endangered at this present time. And in many cases, only around 
thousand speakers of a specific language remain. The reason for that seems to be that globalization encourages the bigger languages to replace the local languages because they bring with themselves also a higher economical and cultural status. That seems to be why half of the population of planet Earth only speaks 23 different languages. You may already know this, but actually becoming bilingual has an extremely positive effect on the brain. Based on research, learning and speaking several languages makes the brain stronger for a longer time. It also slows aging and helps to guard off disease like dementia. Researchers believe, but are not sure, that language began around 100,000 BC, when humans were still developing their skills and vocal instruments. This oldest language is called the proto-human language, but it's impossible to restructure it or recreate it because there are no traces of it. It's difficult to put a number on how many words have directly come from French to English, uh, but uh, research suggests that it might be around 40%. Most of the migration of words happened after the Norman invasion of 1066 because the French became the English language of the royal court for 300 years. Examples of such words include those related to food, for example, pork, mutton, beef, words related to action, like attack, defend, march, and family names like Fitzgerald, which actually comes from the sentence Fils de Gérard, which in translation means Gerald's son.